we'll move from supervised full self-driving to un unsupervised full self-driving, where the car, you could, you could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. So, uh, but there's also a challenge uh, for a lot of people that uh, cars cost too much. I mean, when you factor in everything that goes into a car and the car insurance and the car payments and the storage of the car, it's, uh, it's very expensive. So with, uh, and, and you say like how often are, what, how many hours a week are cars used? Your average passenger car is only used about 10 hours a week out of 100, 168 hours. So the vast majority of the time, cars are just doing nothing. But if they're autonomous, they could be used, I don't know, five times more, maybe, maybe 10 times more. So you could actually, for the, the same car, would have five times as much value, maybe, maybe 10 times as much value. It's, it's there's 100, 168 hours in the week, and like I said, only 10 of them are used for driving. So, and then, and then a bunch of those hours are looking for a parking spot, which is, you know, can be pretty annoying at times. So, so we want, with, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. So it's, it's not just a safe, like, it'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives. Um, and prevent injuries. I, I think we'll, we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. Um, I mean, if you, if you think of times past that where there, were, there used to be an elevator operator in every elevator, uh, but uh, once in a while they get, you know, they get tired and uh, they accidentally shear somebody in half, uh, you know. So, so now we have automated elevators. You just get in an elevator and you press a button. And you don't even think about it. And it just takes you to the floor. And if you did see an elevator operator with a big relay switch, you'd be like, that's weird. Um, now, that's, that's how cars will be. Um, and, and it's not just the, the lives saved in injuries, but if you look at the, think about the cumulative time that people spend in a car and the time that they will get back that they can now spend, well, I guess, on their phones <laughs> or, or, or watching a movie uh, or doing work or whatever you want to do. Um, you can think of the, the car in an autonomous world as being like just a, a, a little lounge. You're just sitting in, in a comfortable little lounge and you can do whatever you want while you're in this comfortable little lounge. And when you get out, you will be at your destination. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So.